Hello everyone, for today's course we're going to view the parametric wave shape which is very commonly used for architectural facade design. Now let's get started. Go to your grasshopper and type rectangle this. Uh, if some of you installed this plugin, when this plugin active, the name of each calculator will be shown above around here. Since this surface or the shape, the whole shape, is in the vertical direction, so we set up a plane which is along x and z actual x z plane. So we assume the x size will be 50 and the y direction will be 9 okay and link 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 yeah. now this rectangle shape has been showed up and now we need to make this rectangle shape into a surface so we just use yeah, the boundary surface and this rectangle yeah. And then we type evaluate evaluate service. Yeah, and link. Okay, after that we need to set up a point. Since the point is on this surface and this surface is just a plane, so this point will just have x and y coordinate so for the x direction we need to set up a domain and get a step so I divide all the length into 60 steps and range type copy disconnect for the y direction, maybe 8, because it's kind of short. So, 8. And then, link, link to this. And now you will find out those points not match on the plane. So first, we need to click here and we parametrize here and then graph the y direction, the y coordinate, and then we set out a point. Yeah, yeah all the points match on the surface. Now, for for us, we need to look clearly picture we hide this or this uh, yeah we hide this first to just show this rectangle and now we need to uh, show this first now we need to influence the pattern of this point so go to the rhino and just draw some random curve is there any shape you want? And try to uh, spread this shape more randomly and more even uh, we move up a little bit just up a little bit. You want to leave it? Okay. 
And now we set a multiple curve. We set up a curve. Set multiple curve. That's four. And now we need to use the calculator core core point. Okay, this one. And that's the point in the socket. And the geometry curve. Okay. Now we need to check the data structure, see if they are matchable. So there's an eye branch and the count 61. Okay, for the point, it should be the same. Yeah, nine branch, uh, 61. Okay, that's all matched. Uh, remap numbers. Now we give it a distance to the number. And then we need to set up a graph mapper. Yeah. The reason I use graph mapper is leave more space for adjusting uh, in later process. So I use this here. Okay. And now we need to check the top view at the meantime we assume the longest offset distance for each point will be two yeah, that should be enough and we set up the multiplication mm, two times and then type move so the points is here and then we link this point the original point data to geometry socket hmm. so since this point still are on the xz plane so the motion direction should be on the y actually so give it this a result to the y vector and give this the motion and then we type flip the metrics and remember we need to simplify the data structure first and then we link and we're gonna pick it up those points again so Points here, and the same. We need to flip the metrics and simplify here. Same. And now we link, uh, we can link those points by the curve. First one, and second one. And then we merge those two curves together. And we need to make it become a surface, so we just type loft. Okay. Now, and then there's a solid shape, so we need to extrude. But since we got a base, but we need the distance. So we assume 0 0.2. Since it's um XZ plane, so it should be um X vector. So we sure. yeah. And now we can we just show this step. Check the perspective view. Actually, in this step, we already done the work, so we can just fake. So we fake. Okay, delete this curve. And 
Four. If you wanna change the pattern, you can just adjust the shape of the curve or adjust the graphic map. Same. And now give us go to the render mode and we give it a background. And turn up skylight. That will be all for today. If you have any question regarding to this video, please leave it down below comment. If you want to know more detail and gain more modeling skills, please come to our website, rhinoarcschool.com. First link in the description. I will show you how to do this. Open your window and type rhinoarcschool.com. Get close to look all course we provide from beginner to advanced model maker. The first one is our limited course package. The second one is monthly payment course. There is the same course but just different purchasing method. Learning this course, you will get a step-by-step -step approach to learn how to model organic architectures, parametrics architectures through interesting cases. And the famous architects project includes Ahadet Architects Project, Mad Architects Project, Biachinko Architects Project, Shigeru Ben Architects Project, and so much more. Join our professional course and design your own world. Also, if you want to have files or YouTube tutorials, you can get them by supporting becoming our blog members. You can find the link in the description. I would like to thank all of our blog membership supporters. It really helps us create even better and more tutorials. If you like these tutorials and would like to see more tutorials, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel as we publish the new videos two times a week. Thanks for watching.